Uh, good morning. It's a Friday morning here in Kiev and I decided to do something new uh, with our channel <laughs> and um, I would like to come here every Friday morning with a sketchbook and paint something cute <laughs> and quick in watercolor and share it with you. I hope uh, you enjoyed the process and I'll get to my first painting today. Hmm. All right, I got my coffee here. Really need it today. And I think I'm gonna paint um, something Christmassy again. <laughs> I really feel like I need a dosage of Christmas spirit. going to be a little cute penguin in a Christmas hat with some Christmas lights around it. Just perfect for the morning sketch. I don't think it's gonna take me long. I have this um, um, <laughs> I have this problem to get stuck in details and just like paint for hours um, trying to reach some sort of perfection in my mind. Uh, so I think this little um, ceremony of painting the watercolor on Friday morning in a sketchbook, which is quite small and you know limited amount of space. It's gonna be better for me to I don't know to keep myself in some sort of frame uh, of how much time I spend on the painting, and at the same time keep painting because big artists they really take time and. Because of that, I can't really um, paint every day, and it's like a whole another story. <laughs> it takes forever for me to just like find the best time, set the space, then spend another three, four, five hours painting, and uh, yeah, it can't happen every day. So, Friday session sounds like the best solution for me. <laughs> So I think I'll do wet on wet here for the background. It's gonna be some Christmassy, nice, colorful background. Yeah, it would be nice to clip this page as well. So I might switch. Okay, you stay there. All right, so what am I gonna use? Mm. I don't really have any idea in mind. <laughs> Doing just just some color splashes and see where it's gonna lead me. The only objective that I have here is to start with lighter colors, lighter tones, like yellows and reds, and then move to darker ones.
there will be also some hint of the snow, snow surface. And I think I'm um, going to use it to lead the way into the background. I really like this um, bigger brush. It's really <laughs> very delicate. Looks clumsy, and I was kind of hesitating to use it in the beginning, but then it really is something special, this thing. <laughs> okay, some shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the watercolor does this, but here. It's more of a texture of like a snow, <laughs> so I don't really need um, curious watercolor splashes. And the paper is drying really fast, so my background is kind of kind of very dry now. Alright, and now some time for some uh, more specific, more directed, I don't know. No fall. Let's add some texture to it. And at the same time, I don't know, it's, a, it's not a snowfall, it's more like a Christmas night. So. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> puddles of water staying in one place for too long so I need to move them in different directions I 
I've got some very interesting um, color texture over here. Color texture, I mean, you can't say that, but <laughs> um, interesting grainy texture over here um, because I used uh, granulating pigment, um, ultramarine blue. So when I pushed my uh, layer with the hair dryer, it kind of spread. <laughs> over my first um, red and yellow layer and it showed this granulation like a little frost yeah i like that stuff <laughs> it's just like you can't never predict how they're gonna look like those those uh, pigments so those you know textures granulating pictures so i'm really curious to wait for like the moment <laughs> to do more of those um, watery splashes because watery splashes they're gonna push the pigment away and I quite like how it looks like very Christmassy <laughs> so I'll just let it sink in and push the pigment and see how it goes I don't really like this outline that I've got in there so I might correct shape a little yeah because it looks like the snowman is <laughs> oh, this morning start uh, <laughs> The penguin is a little cat out, like he's framed with, uh, with the paint. I don't like this effect, so... I want to remove this edge. So pinkish color with cerulean. Why not? I really like this pinkish tone, peachy tone, but I never use it anywhere. <laughs> so why not use it here today? It's not like I have any agenda. And 
Jesus come in the visit. No, he wouldn't miss this. I'll go to the mix some dark and tell my friend. I like to keep the dirty puddle of pigment <laughs> in one of the um, <clears throat> spots on my palette. So whenever I need a darker grayish tone that is not very identifiable, I just like put everything in, inside that thing <laughs> and get my tone. But I also keep a few sections clean uh, so that when I need like a cleaner mix and nice color, I do it there. So don't think that I'm <laughs> only using dirty palettes. <laughs> My kind of red is never red enough. So I think now I need to dry it again, otherwise everything's just going to go backwards in <laughs> all the possible directions. So yeah, one more, one more session of hair dryer. So some parts of the paper uh, are still, uh, yeah, they're still wet, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Um, the paper is uh, is not cotton, so it doesn't really absorb the pigment the way I would like it to. Um, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, the body of the big wing. Hey, I'm using my puddle of everything in here again. <laughs> but it's perfect because now my pink one will not look just plain. Plain black, it's boring. It's gonna have all the different tones in it. This is my master plan all along. <laughs> it's gonna have some bits of blue. Actually, I'm gonna add blue on purpose for, for the sort of shining reflection kind of effect.
And when watercolor dries, it really shows all the tones that my mix consisted of. So all the blue and orange is gonna eventually show on paper. And I like it. more clear shadow on the feet. And voila, I finished my first uh, morning, Friday morning coffee with watercolors <laughs> is done. I'm very excited. I think I managed to keep it light and fast. <laughs> uh, what, how was it? How much was it? Like 30 minutes? Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited and I'm looking forward to the next Friday to paint something small, quick and cute. See you next week.